Observing Young Children Ages 2 to 5 by Marissa Gonzalez, Crystal Hernandez, and Kayla Gaitan. Hello, my name is Marissa Gonzalez. I will be talking about the developmental milestones, skills such as taking a first step, smiling for the first time, and waving bye-bye are called developmental milestones. Children reach milestones in how they play, learn, speak, act, and move. Some examples are crawling and walking. Each child develops differently at his or her own pace. Important milestones in ages two to five occur in social and emotional, language communication, cognitive, learning, thinking, and problem solving, and movement and physical development. Hello everyone, my name is Crystal Hernandez and I will be going over some warning signs for atypical development in young children. Atypical development are behaviors that developed in a way or at a pace that is different from others. The signs are important so that one can note and carefully record behaviors. In order to help the child receive the extra help they may need, we must know what to look for. Here are some of those warning signs. Social and emotional warning signs. Does not seem to pay attention or can seem to stay focused on an activity for as long as the other children of the given age. Avoids eye contact or barely makes any eye contact. Displays violent or aggressive behaviors. Gets unusually frustrated when trying to do a simple task. Does not seek approval from caregiver or parent. Enjoys focusing on unusual objects rather than playing with their peers. No interest in interacting with the other children and displays fewer forms of social play than the other children at their age. Gross motor warning signs. Stiff arms and or legs. Uses one side of the body more than the other. Does not develop a heel to toe walking pattern or walks only on their toes. Does not ride a tricycle using foot pedals. Can seem to kick a ball. Can hop and stand on one foot for up to two seconds. Some language and speech warning signs. Does not ask simple questions. Can't name a few body parts. Can't be understood by anyone in the family and oftentimes misunderstands the questions being asked. They have unclear speech. Doesn't use pronouns such as me and you properly. Can't seem to tell slash elaborate on a story. They use short and simple sentences and they have a limited vocabulary. Some vision warning signs, rubs eyes frequently, difficulty following objects or people with their eyes, difficulty making any eye contact, brings objects too close to eyes to see, one or both of the eyes seem to be abnormal in their size or in color, does not use hands and eyes together, an example like catching a large ball. Adaptive warning signs to look out for, um, does not use the spoon, spills a lot of their um, food, drinks. Does not um, button and unbutton large buttons. Does not wash hands independently. Does not use the toilet independently. And does not indicate any of the toilet needs. Let's now talk about what are informal assessments, the purpose of them, and what are some informal assessments that we can use. Informal assessment is a procedure that will obtain the necessary information to make any judgments on the child's learning and behavior or programs using other means rather than standardized instruments such as standardized tests. The purpose of assessing young children is to collect information necessary to make important decisions about their developmental and educational needs. Some informal methods assessments that we can use in young children from ages 3 to 5 are the following. Observation will enable us to identify the child's behaviors and document their performance and make any decisions. A checklist is good to identify the children's skills and knowledge. And portfolios are a good way to collect children's work samples and other products that will provide us with the child's achievement in specific areas. Hi, my name is Kayla Gaetan and I'll be talking about how a child develops and the child developmental theories of some philosophers of two to five year olds. Child development is about how a child develops through a period of time until the end of their adolescence. Young children develop at their own pace. Some might develop earlier than others and vice versa. Child development theories focuses on how children change and grow over their childhood. There are many developmental theories that pertain to how a child develops. Some theories say that the child's well-being is important for them to learn. Others say that children need to experience events in order to learn from them. Jim 
Jean Piaget, which is a key developer of cognitive development theory, he believed that a person's thought process influences on how one understands and interacts with the world. He describes the stages of a person's thought process at each age below. He goes through sensorial motor stage, pre-operational stage, concrete operational stage, and form operational stage. The next philosopher I'm going to talk about is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Maslow believed that a child's physical and mental well-being is very important for them to learn. He breaks it down into five stages. He breaks it down into basic needs, psychological needs, and self-fulfillment needs. Without this, um, a child can't be able to function in school. The last philosopher I'm going to talk about is Lev Vygotsky. Sociocultural theory is what he created. Just like Piaget, he believes that children learn through hands-on experiences. However, parents, peers, and culture influence the child to believe what they learn. So here, he pretty much believes in what Piaget said, believed. But it is true what he says that um, parents and family have a lot to do with what the child believes in. He's the three philosophers that I talked about. They're the most important ones for our age group. There are other philosophers that were mentioned, but I think these are the three that will relate to our two to five age group.